Hi, in this video we're going to show you how to share your Canva whiteboard with others and then also watch what they're doing on your whiteboard if you give them edit access, of course. So to uh, make a quick whiteboard, you could just, you know, click on whiteboards. You could do a search for a whiteboard template. So let's just uh, do something simple here. Let's say let's do this mind map. All right, so now we have it loaded here. You notice you'll when you go to elements, You'll have whiteboard related elements now to some degree. All right, so what we're going to do, we're not going to make any major changes here. We're just going to share it now. So you could go to share. Uh, you could share it via email. And then, of course, you could change the permissions. So we start typing something here. Then we could change, you know, edit, comment, view like that. Or uh, you could just do a link. And for the link, Anybody with the link could access, or only you could access. So if you do anyone with the link, they're not going to need a Canva account to uh, join your whiteboard. So we're going to do this for now. And then, of course, you could present it real time if you're, you know, like on a projector or like a shared, you know, session, that type of thing. So let's copy the link, give them edit access. All right, so let's go to another browser here. Let's uh, paste it in here. All right, so now that we have a connection from somebody else, when we go here, we could see that uh, Cindy Sims has joined because she was logged into the Canva account over here. And let me do this kind of half and half screen so we've got a better idea of what's going on here. All right, kind of get to the same position here. So now you can see as I move, so uh, the presenter is on the left, Cindy who joined is on the right, and you can see as I move Cindy's mouse over here, the presenter gets to actually see what she's doing. And then if I move something, you can see it does that too as well. And let's say now Cindy's up here. So let's say you wanted to see where somebody was. You could click on their name and be taken to where they're working on. And you could follow them along from there. So now let's uh, do something else here. Let me sign out Cindy here. Okay, so now I'm going to paste in a link here. Let me make this uh, half screen again. Okay. So now it's, I'm going to paste it in here again. See, now you can see that we had that lizard join there, whatever it was called, because it's a uh, non-Canva user. And now it kind of does the same thing. So because I a link that you didn't have to be um, signed in to use, you know, a link that anybody could access. So when a non-Canva user logs in, let me try another one here. So now I got a bison. And you can follow the bison. And if I make this so we can see everything, then you can see we have the animals up here. And you could click on either one to follow them. Like so. If I just toggle between these users here, you can see it's uh, watching their changes. All right, so you can see it's pretty easy to share your uh, whiteboard and then watch the people who are actually participating. So, you know, for your share options, like I said, so if you just want to give specific people access by sending them email and then changing their access from here, so that way you know who's going to be uh, using your whiteboard and preventing any non-Canva users from joining. You could do that. Or if you don't care and you just want to have anybody with the link, then you could click here. And then, of course, you could change the permissions for the anyone with link people. So let's say maybe you want to give uh, the Canva users edit access and the non-Canva users view access. You could do that. So that way you, you, know, you don't have to worry about a stranger coming in there and messing something up. Whereas with the uh, people you actually send invitations for, the actual Canva users, if they mess something up, you'll know exactly who did it. All right, so hopefully that makes sense. So once again, just uh, start your whiteboard, either load a template or you could do it from scratch. And then just go to your share options here, decide if you want to do Canva users or if you want to just send a link. If you want just non-Canva users to be able to participate as well. All right, thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. <laughs>